Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my lipstick declutter. I just decluttered my lip glosses. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it below. Lately, I've really been into lip liner, lip gloss, lip oil, not as much like actual lipsticks. So I need to go through and declutter these. I haven't added a ton of new lipstick to my collection since last year. So a lot of these products are from the year before and even before that. So at this point, I know which colors and formulas I love and which ones I'm not using. If I haven't used them in the past year, I need to declutter them. And if I don't think I'll use them in the upcoming year, then I need to declutter them as well. The truth is there are a lot of formulas I like, but because I'm not wearing lipstick a ton, I don't wanna keep shades and formulas that aren't my favorite. I'd rather pass them along to family and like I said in my lip gloss declutter my nieces love playing with my makeup specifically lipstick so whenever they come over they go in my lipstick and lip gloss drawer and pull some out so I'll definitely keep some on hand for them as well but let's jump into it I'll try to swatch what I can and just give you guys a closer look at what I have and show you which ones are my favorite okay let's just start right here in the center so these are from the brand why am I blanking? Prapa, Prapa Beauty. They make amazing lipsticks. I think they actually came out with a line of red lipsticks and brighter shades as well. But when I first tried the brand, they had just like the most beautiful range of nude lipsticks. So I did purchase four of them. I'm going to try to swatch these. Sometimes I have trouble with my camera focusing on swatches but I feel like that is more helpful when you're watching a declutter. I'm going to keep Finesse, that is one of my favorites. I'm also going to keep this one, this one is Victress, but you know what? I think I'm going to declutter these two. I bought them all online. I wasn't sure which shades I would like, and the formula is amazing. The colors are beautiful. I just don't wear these two shades as much as I wear these two. If I declutter a certain formula, don't take that as a sign that I don't think it's worth the money. I declutter throughout the year, so whenever I find a formula I don't like, I get rid of it. It's just I have to cut down a little bit on shades that I'm not using. I just need to be a little bit more cutthroat because I feel like there are just a lot of colors I don't wear, and I'd rather declutter them before they expire if at all possible and pass them along. These are the NYX matte lipsticks. This one is in the shade in flick. I am going to keep this one. I would love to break this color back out. It's such a bright orangey red. This one is in the shade Siren. I feel like this one dried out. So I, it might have expired. It's hard to know exactly when products expire. If they change in color or texture or finish, I usually get rid of them because that's usually a good sign or scent. But this one just didn't apply like it used to. So I think it's time to part with this one. This one is in the shade Alabama. It's a really beautiful red. So I am going to hang on to this one. So right here in the center, I have all of my Too Faced Natural Nudes lipsticks. These are getting old. I don't think they're expired yet because I still use them and they are perfectly fine. They look good. They apply well. So I'm going to hang on to not all of them, but a good amount of them. This was my favorite nude lipstick line. Like you can see, I've used up a ton of that. That's a lot for me because I don't usually go through lip products that quickly. And then they stopped making them and I'm so sad about it. So this one's in the shade Send Nudes. I'm going to keep this one and you can't get these any longer. So that's why I'm going to keep the shades I love. This one is Nip Slip, which I'm going to keep as well. This one is Skinny Dippin'. I'm going to keep like the true nudes and maybe declutter the pinky tones. I'll declutter this one. This one is called Called strip search. I just don't wear this shade very much. I can't remember the last time I used it. I'm also going to declutter this one in Decent Proposal. It's a pretty deep shade. I wish they didn't discontinue these. They're so pretty. The formula is amazing. The packaging is gorgeous. I definitely prefer like this version of Too Faced compared to what they tend to release these days. This one is throw and suede. I'm going to just, I'm going to declutter this one too. I'm going to keep birthday suit and I'm also going to keep girl code. But I will declutter over Exposed, which is like a cooler toned pinky shade because I have a Bite Beauty lipstick that's pretty similar that I wear a lot. And then I'm also going to declutter Pout About It because I haven't worn that one in probably over a year or two. So these are my nude lipsticks. When I'm done, I think I'm going to kind of arrange these by color. In my lip gloss declutter, I mentioned a lot of people suggest decluttering by color, but I like to have similar shades in different formulas. Like I might wear the Too Faced formula one day, the Milani formula one day, even though the colors are similar. But I think I might put like all of my nude lipsticks in the middle, all of my colorful lipsticks right here, and try to arrange it that way when I'm done, and then kind of see where I'm at. 
So over here, I have these Milani lipsticks. These are pretty new to my collection. They are the Color Fetish Matte Lipsticks. So I have two nude shades over here and then two brighter shades. I'm definitely going to keep these. These are pretty new to my collection. I actually haven't had them that long, but I do love them. They work so well. They're one of my favorite lipstick formulas. And then what else do I have? I have these mini Bite Beauty lipsticks. I think I'm going to declutter these. I haven't worn these because I love the Bite Beauty Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. So because of that, whenever I want to wear a bite lipstick, I usually reach for those and not these. So I am going to declutter these. This is an Ulta Beauty lipstick in the shade Chili Pepper. Oh, it looks like I haven't actually worn this one. So if I haven't worn it, I'm going to pass it along because it is brand new. This one is from Beauty Pie. I have the shade Takeover. It's a really pretty color. It's kind of unique to my collection. It's like a, almost like a pinky red. Doesn't want to focus. I really don't have anything like this, so I am going to hang on to this. I also love this formula. It's really nice, super comfortable on the lips. This is a Buxom lip pencil. I'm going to declutter this. I don't know the last time I wore it. This is a ColourPop Hello Kitty lipstick. I think that this formula is really nice, but the color is just, it's, it's not like a go-to shade for me. I'm going to keep this for my nieces because I gave them the other one. They really like the packaging. Actually, I have a couple of other ColourPop lipsticks. I don't have my ColourPop lippy sticks in here because I have a ton of those. That would be like a whole separate declutter video. So if you want to see that, I can film it. That's the formula I tend to reach for the most, except for these. These are their new glowing lips. These are so good. I'm not going to part with any of these because they are amazing. They're like the perfect lip gloss, lip balm, lipstick hybrid. They're glossy like a lip gloss. They're super comfortable like a lip balm. And then they have the color payoff of a lipstick. They are amazing. So I'm going to keep those. But let me see what other ColourPop lipsticks I have. I actually don't think I have that many at this point. I think it's just these four. So I have the shade Appy, which is a really pretty nude. I am going to keep this one. This is a shade that I like to wear, but I have a couple of Barbie lipsticks too. So I think these are pink. This one is Dream House. This one is Golden Beach. And then this one is Malibu Sunset. I forgot this formula is so good. It feels like they put a little bit of extra effort into this formula because it is so creamy and it just has amazing pigmentation. I'm going to keep the nude, but I am going to declutter the pink tones because I feel like they're somewhat similar to this Milani lipstick. And I just like this formula a little bit better, but these are really nice. I forgot that the ColourPop Barbie lipsticks just felt really good on the lips. If you saw my blush declutter, I did declutter quite a few like pink toned blushes because I must have gone through a phase where I was super into those and then now I just don't wear them very often. It's kind of the same case with lipstick. I don't wear a lot of really pink lipsticks. I like to have some on hand because I will wear them on occasion, but I probably have quite a few in my collection just from previous years when I did enjoy them. So down here, I just have some liquid lipsticks. I did have some liquid lipsticks over in my lip gloss drawer. So I did declutter some, but I forgot that I had these from About Face. These are their matte painted lip colors. I'm going to swatch these for you because they are really nice, but I also feel like a lot of the shades are somewhat similar. This one is Dilemma. This one is Obscure Desire. And then this one is Fantasist. I am going to keep these three. I forgot that I had these because they were in the back of my drawer. So they are so nice on the lips. I don't wear liquid lipstick a ton, but when I do wear it, this formula is nice because it's very, very lightweight. This one is Through the Fields. This one is Not Your Baby. And then this one is Monarchy. I'm going to keep Monarchy, but I'm going to pass the other two along. I haven't worn these a ton, so they're still good. They're pretty new to my collection. I don't have like a nice red liquid lipstick that I kept earlier. So I'm going to keep this one and then declutter these two. Okay. These are the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. They redid them. I do have some of the newer ones right here, but they don't have all of the same shades. So I am going to keep the shade Disturbed. I also don't have all of them. I only have five. So I don't think I have any repeat shades. This one is Love Drunk. I am going to declutter this one. I feel like I don't need it. I have the shade Bad Blood. Let's see how similar they are. I think Bad Blood is probably more of like a true classic red. It is. I'm going to keep Bad Blood. And then I think I'm also going to keep 1993 which is like a cooler toned nude. This one's like a brown nude. So I'm going to keep 1993 as well. This one is Backtalk. This one is Stark Naked. I do feel like I have pretty similar shades in other formulas. So I think I will declutter these two. As far as the new ones go, there are some different finishes. There's like a matte finish, a cream finish, and then also a shine finish. 
These are really pretty, like the shine finishes. This one is in the shade Local. One pet peeve about these is that you can't tell what the color is until you take the actual top off. And I feel like that stops me from using them as much as I would. The older ones at least have a sticker on the bottom. This one's kind of close to back talk, but I love that this one is so glossy and shiny. So I do feel like this is a comparable shade if you guys liked back talk, but you're looking for it in the new formula. This one is Liar, which I feel like is kind of close to stark naked, maybe just a little bit darker. And this one is in a cream finish. So that's what it looks like. Again, my camera sometimes has a hard time focusing on swatches, but I'll do my best because I feel like swatches are just a little bit more helpful. This one is Naked, this one is What's Your Sign, and then this one is the 405. So I am going to keep all of these. I think these formulas are really nice. They're really pretty. I mean, there are definitely some similar shades to the original line. I don't know if all the names are different or not. I haven't looked that closely, but here's a look at a couple of these in case you're interested in trying them. I have two lipsticks from Focalore. These are so nice. This is one of the best formulas that I have. So this one is in the shade Maple Sugar. It's a really pretty warm toned nude. And then I also have this one in the shade Carnival. It's like a kind of like brick toned red nude. This formula is so soft, really comfortable on the lips. Definitely one of my favorites, so I'm going to hang on to these. And then over here I have some of the Too Faced Lady Bold lipsticks, which this formula is really nice. And these do have like a little sticker, so I feel like it's easier to find the shade when you're searching through your collection. Let me swatch these for you guys so you can see what they look like. These are super pigmented. They are really intense, which I love. They look beautiful on the lips. They're kind of underrated, honestly. But if you're looking for just like a classic lipstick formula that applies nicely, these are amazing. This one is Comeback Queen. And then this one is I'm Thriving. I'm going to keep both of these. They're just like good staple nudes. This one is the shade Hype Woman. I think I'm going to declutter this one just because it is like more of a pinky lipstick. I don't know how much I'll wear it moving forward. So I have a couple of reds. This one is Lady Bold. This one is Unafraid. And then this one is Be True to You. Look how intense these are. Like these are so gorgeous, incredibly vibrant. If you want a red lipstick, this is the formula to try. Also, like these are just pretty. The actual lipstick case feels pretty heavy. And then when you open it up, I love that it's kind of like a little bit of a heart shape. I'm actually going to keep all three of these reds. I know they're all red lipsticks, but I do want to get back into wearing a vibrant lipstick. I feel like when it comes to red, there's a difference between like a classic blue toned red, a brighter orangey red. Where am I at? I feel like I am doing this in a chaotic manner. I don't even know. I've gone through this one, this one, and this one. Let's move on to these. I think pretty much all of these are e.l.f. lipsticks. This is their Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Blissful. It's a really nice, subtle nude, really comfortable on the lips. And then I have some of these glossy lip stains from e.l.f. These are nice. I feel like I had to adjust my expectations with these. The first time I wore them, I wore like a really bold shade, and it did start to wear off by the end of the day, but they do stay in place better than other lipsticks. So when I want more of a long lasting lipstick, but I don't want like a matte lipstick, I reach for these. These are the Sheer Slick Lipsticks. I'm definitely going to hang on to these. I wear these all the time, especially in the spring and the summer. And then I have a couple of these. These are their Ride or Die Lip Balms. I feel like I could declutter a couple of these. I am going to keep Mighty Mint. That one is my favorite. I'm going to declutter a pumpkin spice latte. I love the way that this one smells, but the actual color just doesn't look great on me. I think I'll declutter just peachy as well. I love peach scented products, but again, the color isn't my favorite. I like cheeky cherry because it's a little bit more dramatic. So let me keep those. Let me move these back over. So next I'm going to go through this section here. Let me just move it over so it focuses a little bit better. So I have two of these. These are the NYX Filler Instincts. I really like these. They're just like really pretty glossy lip lipsticks. They're nice on their own, but I also like to wear them on top of other lipsticks. I feel like I'm not doing as great of a job decluttering my lipsticks as I did my lip glosses. And I just don't need to keep all of them. So what can I declutter? I'm going to declutter this one. It's a KKW Beauty Lipstick and it's in the shade Pink Cream. I love this formula. I know they reformulated, so I'm not sure if this is even still available, but the color isn't something that I reach for a ton. So I think I will declutter this one. I think I'll actually declutter the nude one as well. This one's always just a little bit off on my skin tone. I think it's maybe too much of a yellow toned nude for me, so I always end up mixing it with something else. The formula is so nice. I love the formula. I just feel like the two shades that I have 
I don't end up reaching for it too much. I have four of these Buxom lipsticks. My favorite, well, I have two favorites. This one is Goddess. I love this color so much. It is one of my go-to staple nudes. It's just so pretty on the lips. This formula is so glossy and beautiful. It makes your lips just look so smooth and even. I also love the shade of Fly Girl. This one's a little bit more of like a yellow toned nude, but a yellowy nude that's actually flattering on my skin tone, not like the KKW one. I'm going to keep Popstar, but I'll declutter Heartthrob. It's just not a shade that I reach for very often. I can't get my camera to focus. There's the look at the two shades. So I'm going to declutter this one and keep this one. This one is the Fenty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick in the shade Makeout Break. I totally forgot I had this. I love this lipstick so much. I love this formula. I love layering it with other formulas. So I am going to keep this one, maybe move it to my everyday makeup drawer. I have my Christian Audette Mel Thompson lipstick. This makes me sad. I mean, it makes me happy because I think of Mel whenever I use this. Actually, her shade Beauty that she created is in my everyday makeup drawer. It just lives in there because I wear it so much. But I still remember when she messaged me on Instagram and told me she was releasing this collab, also her eyeshadow palette collab. I miss Mel so much. I used to talk to her all the time and she was just such a bright light and such a beautiful soul. And I I miss her. I'll never declutter these because whenever I use them, I think of her. So I'm going to keep this one and beauty for sure and just hang on to them. I think they're still available if you guys are interested in them. This one is from Bite Beauty. It's one of their new lipsticks in the shade Sugar Buns. I actually got this in a FabFitFun box. It's probably not like a shade that I would have chosen for myself, but it is pretty. It's like a lighter, softer pink. It's not too, too intense. So I'm going to keep this one. These are from Flower Beauty. These are the Perfect Pout Lipsticks. Did they change their packaging? I used to have a couple of other Flower Beauty lipsticks that I loved, but I, I think the other packaging was different. I kind of liked it better. So I have Blossom and Berry More. I haven't worn Blossom, so I'm going to donate this. If I haven't worn it, then I don't need to keep it in my collection. And then this one is Berry More. I have worn this one. It's not my favorite color. Also, that's kind of sheer. I don't know, I just don't reach for it. So I'm going to declutter this one. These are the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipsticks, which I do love. They're really nice. This one is from Mented Cosmetics. Really pretty. I just picked up a face primer from Mented. One of you guys recommended it to me and said it's a great option for oily skin. So I'm excited to try that. And then I just have one lipstick from Essence. This one's in the shade 05. It's a really pretty color. Really nice formula. Let me just reorganize these and see where I'm at. Okay, so I kind of did organize them by shades. So up here I have like lighter nude shades, pinks, and then down here I have some brighter bold shades. So I feel like this is actually a good amount of bold shades to have. It's not overwhelming, but it will give me enough variety in my collection without feeling like I need to run out and buy new ones. And then I feel like this is a good amount of nude shades as well. I'm definitely keeping the ColourPop Glowing Lips, and then I have some liquid lipsticks, which I'll probably move over to my other section. So I'm actually okay with that. Let me just go through this last section. I just have two of the ColourPop Just a Tint lipsticks left. I did have a couple of other shades. I think I decluttered them or gave them to someone else. I can't remember, but I just haven't reached for these in a while. I used to love this formula so much, but these days I usually prefer a little bit more pigment when it comes to lipstick. And if I don't want a lot of pigment, I'll reach for a lip oil or a lip gloss. So I am going to declutter these. These are the e.l.f. Jen Atkin lipsticks. This collection was so... It was like such a quick limited edition collection, but I still love it. These are so nice because they're dual ended. So you get a lip liner on one side, a lipstick on the other. And I think the formula is nice. So I'm still keeping them even though they were discontinued because I do use them. This one is the Ulta Beauty Lip Crayon and it is in the shade Rose Quartz. It's a nice formula, but I just don't love this pink tone. So I'm going to declutter this. I have two of these Flower Beauty Scribble Sticks. It says you can use them on the eyes or the lips. I've worn them on the lips before. They're nice, but when it comes to lipstick crayons, I definitely prefer these from Bite Beauty. So I'm going to declutter these. I just haven't worn them a ton. These are the Deck of Scarlet Three-Way Solid Lip Oils. These are so interesting. You know what they kind of remind me of? The Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, but with a lot more pigment. They have the most glossy, beautiful, moisturizing 
texture. Like, let me just show you. This one is Bordeaux Baby. This one is Scarlet Passion. And then this one is Merlot Moves. If you like the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, but you want more of a pigmented lip product, these are so pretty on the lips. And then I do have all of my Bite Beauty Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. I don't really want to part with any of these because this is like my number one lipstick formula. It is the perfect lipstick. It's so pigmented, so comfortable on the lips. It stays in place pretty well. And I think the colors are so nice, but there are probably shades in here that I don't reach for super often. So let me swatch them and then we'll see. I also have a ton of them. So I feel like maybe it will be helpful in case you're considering one of them. So I'll just swatch them for you to reference. This one is Sugarcane. This one is Cava. This is one of my all time favorites. This one is Amaretto, and then this one is Leche. I am going to hang on to all of these. They're all so gorgeous, definitely some of my most worn lip colors. This one is Glacé, this one is Nonino, and this one is Hard Cider. I am going to keep this one, Glacé, and Hard Cider, but I'm going to declutter this one. I like it. It's pretty. It's just not a shade I'll use a ton, so I'm just going to pass it along. I also found one that I have not even used. This one is Totten. I hope I'm saying that right, but because it's not used, I'm going to declutter it because there's no need for me to keep it in my collection if I haven't worn it yet. Bite Beauty did send me some of these, and then I have purchased some throughout the years just because I love them so much. This one is my favorite. This one is Stinger. It is such a gorgeous, like, hot coral. I always pull this one back out during the spring. I'm sure the camera won't even do it justice, but it is so gorgeous on the lips. I also love this one. This one is Negroni. It's such a beautiful, just like cherry red. This formula is so good. It was on sale on Sephora's website not too long ago for 50% off. And some of you guys said they're reformulating. And then some people said Bite Beauty just has to put their stock on sale every once in a while because their products expire a little bit more quickly. I don't know what the reason was. I hope they're not being discontinued because I love these so much. So I have four left. Pastille, Acai Smash, Pavlova, and Damson. I'm just going to declutter this one, Pavlova. I feel like these two are kind of similar. They look a little different on camera, but I like Acai Smash a little bit better. And then I'm going to hang on to the other three. Okay, so let me count and see where I'm at. So here are all of the lipsticks I'm keeping. I'm keeping 82 and then I decluttered 38. So it actually ended up being 32%. So I decluttered about a third of my collection, which I feel good about because like I said, I didn't add a lot of new lipstick to my collection this past year. I don't really feel tempted to buy a lot of new lipstick. That's not usually what gets me. So I feel like I'll probably keep my collection like this for the next year without adding too, too much. And then I'm pretty happy with that because I feel like I have a good enough variety that I can do different looks, compare different formulas, but it's not super overwhelming. I mean, I still have more lipstick than I really need, but I feel like it's pretty manageable. And at this point, when I open my drawer, I can see what I have and it's not overwhelming. Getting rid of these shades and these formulas is a good move because I just don't need to keep all of these. So I guess I'm pretty happy with this declutter. Like I said, I didn't have any real expectations for how it was going to go. So I'm good with it. It's just a nice lipstick refresh. So I organized them, like I said, a little bit better. Like these are nudes, these are bold shades. Then I have a couple mixed in, but I feel like now when I go to reach for a lipstick, I can kind of see which shades I have and focus on the nudes or the bold shades and we'll see how that goes. So it's nice to try something different rather than just having them all arranged by brand. So we'll see and I'll keep you guys posted. But thank you so much for watching this declutter video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some other declutters, I'll put them on the screen for you guys and I'll link them in the description box below.